What is up guys? In today's video we're going to be spectating random players in Fortnite Zero Build Ranked and I am currently Unreal Ranked so this should be a pretty high elo lobby. I typically make these videos in pubs because I feel like that is the most relatable to most players. Um, but I recently ran a poll on my YouTube channel and it seems like most people voted for Ranked so I thought we could make this video. Like I said though, Ranked is a very different game from public matches just as it is and if you look at kind of the player count for zero build ranked it's typically much lower than public matches and to me as a content creator that kind of signifies that less people are interested in that sort of content uh so it makes less sense to make it though we'll see how this game plays out if you guys didn't know there is currently siphon in ranked so you get 50 health or shield upon each elimination uh and the loot pool is very different the ranked has tournament rule set now so there's no hover jets there's no iron man gloves there's no War Machine Arsenal. There's no Shiri Claws. Uh, the only mobility is really Shockwaves. And I also am doing this in duos because I did it in solos last game. This is the second game I've tried to record. Uh, the first game I tried to record was in solos, but it was kind of just like third party central. And then I ended up spectating a cheater. Uh, that was just full on cheating. If you guys want to see me post that, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll post the game I spectated a cheater on... Uh, on my second channel also if you guys do find this video to be informative helpful interesting give it a like subscribe comment down below um gotta lose my rank don't really care about this i don't really grind rank that much i just play with my girlfriend so it's like not the biggest deal to me to lose a few placements off this this teammate is fighting alone okay they get the kill but that's like potentially a problem i, I feel like off spawn you just want to be doing as much that you can with your teammate as possible. Maybe they knew it was just one guy or whatever, but like, especially fighting indoors at a building, like, people could just hide and catch you off and like, you know, eliminate you that way. Like an unnecessary potential mistake, you know? They're just going to rush to restored reels, it seems, with the green water. With this week's update, they did mess up the dashes when the update first came out, but it was just a bug, and now the dashes are back to working how they used to. Uh, it's just hard sometimes when an update comes out in Fortnite to know, uh, like, is this a bug? Is it intentional? Like, what's going on there? But it was a bug, and now dashes are back to normal. And with limited mobility... Uh, having dashes is really nice. Like, with uh, the Shockwave being the only mobility item in the game, like, being able to get these green water dashes is, like, a decent advantage. Another, like, big change to, like, the loot pool in Ranked, or not really the loot pool, but what I want to run is going to be shotguns. For public matches, I typically run the Sovereign shotgun because, for me, I feel like I play better with the Sovereign when I'm using the jetpack. But since there's no jetpack in Ranked, I would prefer to use a Gatekeeper. Rarity might impact that, you know, if I have like a purple sovereign or a gray gatekeeper, I'm probably gonna go with the sovereign. But like equal rarity, I, I would rather have the gatekeeper, especially if I'm going to make it to a weapon bunker and be able to get drum mag on it. They're trying to pull up on wrapped. Emma Frost hasn't been eliminated yet. But I feel like him shooting here is kind of bad. I, I feel like if they waited to shoot at the same time, they'd maybe get better timing on this. But there's still a lot of people here, so maybe it doesn't matter as much. But, like, if you're about to, like, get shots on somebody that doesn't really know about your position yet in team game modes, like, if you're able to synergize with your teammate and both shoot at the same time, I feel like you definitely, like, increase your chances of getting that kill. Frozone is going off on his own again. This is potentially very bad. Okay, teammate's here now, but uh, he has 11 health. He's just, like, more ahead of his teammate, and that's uh, just, again, potential problem. I, it's also something I personally do a good amount. Like, that is a mistake I make. Uh, but I feel like his teammate wasn't with him there. And then because of that, one gets away and he takes a lot of damage. But I, I feel like if they were more on the same time, they may, they probably just get both those kills and take less damage. Seems like it's not going to matter. They do heal up. But imagine a world where, like, there's another team ready to collapse on them. You know? Like, that's just back, them back to the lobby. Of something as minor as just, like, a... a simple misstep in timing and again they get this misstep in timing the superhero was very ahead of the time and then we can't see her health but i would imagine she took a lot of damage to the person hiding in the corner and then because of that they just get cleaned up any like I i'm genuinely serious in these high ranks anytime you're like going in buildings and stuff i think it's so 
beneficial to be just like holding your teammates hand and doing things together like i said i am not perfect at this it's not like i'm just like trying to roast them uh but yeah that's just like one simple thing that can go a long way if they're together there they maybe kill the person that was hiding behind this ac faster and with taking less damage and then that makes them better able to deal with the third parties this team is also very split though And it's like so hard for this red knight to get up here because of the limited mobility her teammate gets knocked and because of like that separation she's not able to like help and her teammate gets thirst and now she's going back to the lobby so that's back-to-back -back fights we see we don't really get to see her teammates perspective but that's just back-to-back -back fights we see where like just separation ruins the game for them this person is just getting third partied their teammate is also nowhere to help what is going on here Look at how many people are just running around solo. If a duo collapses on them, like that's just, they can't play the game. This guy's teammate is eliminated. So like, at least it's not his, at least they can't fix this separation problem. Bring this wall out, I guess he thinks over there. I'm not sure. I don't think he has the teammates reboot card. I'm not sure. Like, there's a timer next to his name. But the reason why I was stressing that, like, uh, that separation thing is because it's such an easy problem to solve. Like, if you're just bad at fighting in the game or you have bad aim or something, like, that's going to take time to solve. But, like, the being separated from your teammate when going into these tight indoor areas, it doesn't... Like, you don't have to be get any better at the game to fix that problem. It's just, like, a slight, like, timing and, like, communication thing. So it's something that's so easy and minor to fix that can really go a long way. Yeah, I was going to say, I would definitely want to drop the Fizz. He's going to get the med kit because he's probably going to go into Storm. But I was going to say, even if he wants to carry double shield items, the Fizz is so much better than the minis. And with limited mobility and ranked, the Fizz is very good to have. He also has bubbles, which I think are also great to have. He's going to try to reboot back here. I think someone previously did reboot over here. I would like to be running with the bunkers out here. With, again, not having any mobility in zero build ranked. If you're carrying the bunkers, or if you're carrying bubbles, just anytime you're running into a questionable area, just like run with them out. That way you can just throw it down if you do get shot. And it just like reduces the amount of time that you potentially get beamed. If you're going into an area where like you think you might need your shotgun out like a building then sure but like if you're just running around out in the open i, I think you definitely want to have the bubbles out and again that's something incredibly minor it doesn't take a long time of practice to just you know switch to your bubbles like it, it's uh, a very easy thing that can like potentially avoid some like bad situations someone did get raft coin He's going to go for that loot off the, the body where like the player was spectating dropped the splashes. There was all that loot. So that person that got rebooted is going to land there. But we know the medallion player is here and we know they're going to get a scan soon. And these players are very split, which can be good at times. Like you might just get free beams. But if you're going to be going into like the clustered area of the prison, I feel like you definitely want to be able to help each other. It's one shot on the Travis Scott. It's only 30 damage. So they end up getting together when the fight happens. This uh, The gatekeeper needs to be reloaded here. Just chill and reload. The player we're spectating is so much more healthy. They need to play their life. That's actually so good. I'll talk about that in a moment. Okay, that works out perfectly. So I think when he's like incredibly healthy, like he's healthy-ish and his teammate is not, I feel like at that point, he kind of just needs to play his own life to be able to win the fight. Uh, but what he ends up doing and he does kind of play his own life well, which is good. But he thirsts a knocked body for his teammate. I'm pretty sure his teammate got that knock. Uh, and with Siphon being in the game, him thirsting that body gives his teammate some help. And so that's like, it didn't matter in that situation. The other player left, but that's something that could have mattered, you know? Like just getting that teammate that little bit of HP if that like person did hop on them. It's nice. They're going to push this bunker. I don't know how healthy the teammate is. I don't know if like the HP is bugged or what. 
There's no way that's their health. There's another team landing on this. He's very split from his teammate too. I don't know where they are. This GG's. I don't know where his teammate is. They're so far away. I think they just got split up because this player used the Fizz to get here. And that's like almost every team that we've seen lose. It's just like that minor problem. Luckily, another team pulls up here and starts fighting. The teammate gets a knock. They could maybe get the res here. I, I, I don't know. I kind of don't like going for that bunker there. I feel like the... The one who's revving, res reviving now, I feel like they just like weren't ready to fight yet. And they could have gone to this bunker maybe and had it be a little more chill. That bunker is probably contested too, but you know 100% this one is contested, you know? There's some bubbled. Metallica player field does not, what is going on? He's not ready to fight and this other person jumping on them. They get the knock luckily. This can be a winnable fight. Nice. Okay. That's surprising. But again, it's just like a minor thing. I don't know if they knew that the person that got knocked got revived or something. Like, because they have scan coin and the, the scan doesn't show on spectate. So they might have had like some information there that made them think it was going to be a 1v1. But if the teammate got like shot by shotgun twice, then like both players just shot him at the same time, then that's potentially them out of the game, you know? Up the med kits for minis. I don't like that. Unless he's like saving them for the teammate, maybe. But I feel like with y'all being in storm here, you just get these med kits instead of the minis. And you're good to go. He dropped the minis for EMPs. I guess that's fine as well. EMPs can be incredibly good. Especially they seem more intent on playing aggressive. Even when it's risky at times. Uh... And so the MPs would be decent engaged there. They could also potentially use it to fish if they want, but I would be surprised if they do that. Also, Fizz makes it a little easier to EMP people. And they have Siphon Medallion as well. The crazy thing about Siphon Medallion at the moment is that you regenerate 100 health. So we have base Siphon in the game. You get 50 health or shield on each elimination and ranked at the moment. But if you have that in combination with Siphon Medallion, you get 50 just from the game and then 50 from having the medallion. Which is pretty nice. I think they're trying to get floppers. They got a lot of shield fish, which is a great healing item. Nice, you got a flopper. Unfortunately, waste a dash, but they can get more here. It's no big deal. Like I talked about at the start of the video, I think having those dashes is like a huge advantage with how little mobility there is in the game right now for ranks. Nine teams left. No solos at the moment. Team in front of them. I assume they're going to look to fight it because they've been playing pretty aggressive and they've double medallion. So I think they fight this. I don't know where this guy's teammate is. Maybe his teammate's up by that bush and he's the one in the back. 100 damage. The teammate's here. He needs to reload Gatekeeper. He didn't get drum mag when they did it earlier. I'm mad we can't see his teammate's health. He's getting dashed? This is like such a bizarre fight. This is like fighting in the green water. Nice to get a knock. The teammate's somewhere getting tagged though. That's 70 damage. Not bad. His teammate can uh, thirst for the siphon as well. He throws a bubble at this guy so he couldn't shoot at him. That's not a terrible play, but he just like dashes away. But that is something you can do with bubbles that I feel like a lot of people don't think about. It's just like, depending on where the enemy is, throwing one at them can make their position kind of useless as you push them. I think you just let this go if you, like, I don't think this team cares that much about winning though. Like, they're down to lose, it seems like. If, like, like they would rather play a bit risky and lose than just, like, play to win. But if you wanted to just like be more safe in this situation, just just let that solo go and you know play to not put yourself in a bad situation. Especially just like, I don't know, like those fights around the green water are rough. Accidentally used a dash there.
Like, chasing can be fine, but, like, the more you chase, the more, you know, the potential is that, like, they just run you into a different team. Or that another team pulls up to third party. And at this point, it's like, what do they need from that kill, you know? Like, they have such great loot. I'm gonna drop coins so this guy can get a scan. It's also kind of nice for them to have the scan on this player since the other one has siphon. So it just makes their gold circles a little larger. But it's like really not the biggest deal. Like people are going to know kind of where they are anyways. Getting shot from island I think. Getting more bubbles out of this uh, big ammo box which is nice. Refreshing his dashes since he wasted one earlier. Or maybe they're going towards Grim. What does this sound like? Okay, so I think they're choosing to kind of dash to restored rather than rotate in this way because Island was already shooting at them. So like by doing this, they move quickly through the map. They pass through the person they knocked earlier, maybe catch the teammate getting the reboot card, and they avoid getting beamed from Island. And it's not like the end of the world to go like deeper in a zone like that because like the green water is gonna allow you to travel like so quickly. But that was like good. Also would have been nice if they caught the solo trying to get the reboot card or something. Like dropping coins so they get a scan before going into restored, which is also very good. Like you, like some people, I feel like want to like drop it as often as possible, so they get scans as often as possible. But I also feel like kind of saving it for moments like that, like they're about to go into a new POI, which could have people hiding, who knows where. Like getting the scan right at that moment is pivotal. So I actually like kind of agree with that. So let one person hold it; it'll scan when it when it does. And then if you know you're about to be in an area where like a scan would be really high value, then you drop it. They're getting to the point though. Okay, I was about to say they're getting to the point where like the area wasn't scanned by them. I think there still could be somebody like deep in this section that like maybe was not in range of either of those scans. Okay, they knew there's people here. So like the thing is that looks weird, but like spectator mode doesn't show uh like the scan. So that team probably got scanned and then they knew they could just go and fight it. Uh they get the kills. It's just, that's such a weird thing to push into. I feel like if he played that a little bit slower and then just threw the EMPs up on them while they're in the attic, that would have been like a much easier fight. But he just kind of dashes up there alone and 50-50s them. Not even 50-50. I feel like the defending team there kind of has an advantage. Uh, But he, what's good is he does quickly use his dashes to get out. And then while the enemy team is kind of like trying to like jump on his teammate and funnel into his teammate... He chucks his EMPs then, and even though he doesn't have line of sight on the enemies, he's able to get a lot of damage on them and help his teammate out uh, because of those EMPs. So actually, I like it was, I feel like questionable to go for that, but at the same time, I like the kind of recovery there. Like that was very, very good. I, I feel like one thing you notice in a lot of team game modes is that people have like a hard time being useful when they're weak. Like they just want to get away and heal and that's all they're concerned about. But I feel like this player knew that, like, he's weak, but he's, his life isn't immediately in danger, so he can, like, look back and help his teammate some. And just that little bit of EMPs might have been the difference maker there. I mean, we saw his teammate went down anyways, you know? Gets the EMPs off and then flanks, and they win the fight. These geysers are so troll, I feel like. It takes forever. Being shot by those bunkers. It's two players. He's getting glider locked here. His teammate needs to just buy time. And you, start, so you see they buy time with the bubble, but he's still getting pinch. Luckily, they have dashes to get away. This is the team they fought earlier, actually. The solo, they let get away. EMPs do destroy the shield bubbles. They break shield again, but... The team is shooting them. I wonder if his teammate has any more dashes. Okay, GG's. That, that team got knocked from height. That team is about to get third party by a different team. This is good. They have zone. I would want to check these bodies for bunkers, which is what the teammate might be doing. Because they only have bubbles right now. And bubbles are good. 
But this zone looks kind of scuffed. I, I feel like having bunkers in this zone would be really helpful. But they might just get to the point where they kill everybody here and it doesn't matter. But he's kind of like griefing his teammate here. So I, I'm not sure exactly, but it looked like where he was standing kind of blocked his teammate from being able to like strafe and like protect themselves. Like she might have just been walking into him the entire time. Uh, and not being able to actually move her character. Luckily, she had shockwaves to get away. He's trying to throw her fish. But this team knows they're, like, weak. That damage is huge, though. This is actually so good for them. If he doesn't get that damage, then this team just jumps on them. But him getting that damage stalls it out and allows the team to live. If the other person jumped on him, it would have been, like, basically a 1v1. But you see they're running out of bunkers. Or bubbles, sorry. This might be the last bubble. And this is just, like, a scuffed zone. There's still two other teams as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Someone just got knocked. I don't know how weak the teammate is, but luckily they have Siphon Medallion, so if she, if she does get a knock and they can get that thirst, that's 100 health for her. Things for this rock. Nice, perfect. Make the... I think... I don't know if the teammate got siphoned on or not. It's now 2v2. They just fought under the bridge. They have no utility on the person we're spectating. Okay. She dropped him shockwaves. That way they get both shockwave. They win this game, I think. I was going to say, if they don't have any mobility or anything, then it's going to be like hard for them to like maybe get up there before this other team. But GG's. I, I feel like that was actually a good game to watch. That team played aggressive. And there was like some moments that were maybe rough, but like the way they recovered the fights, I think were good. And there's like so many little things there. I, I feel like that they did very good, but that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found this to be helpful, informative, interesting as always. If you did, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.